Hi everyone, Todd Conaway here. So uh, I want to talk about a success and some failures in a recent professional development event that uh, is just ending today. So uh, we have been doing these five-day Canvas workouts. The original one was literally kind of an 80s themed uh, workout, uh, Richard Simmons style stuff. Uh, the second one was um, a circus or a carnival, uh, so everything was kind of carnival themed. The uh, third one was a walk in the open, so it was OER related. Uh, one of my colleagues ran an accessibility uh, workout, so, and they were all five days long and pretty short, and they, also, they all had sort of a similar look to them. Basically, they were running canvas, they had like a banner, and then kind of five cards for five different short activities. And so uh, up until this week when we ran this one, we had always had uh, RSVPs. Uh, you know, and we had some people RSVP, and as usual, you know, a third of them never showed up, and, you know, the attrition rate and all the fun things in faculty development. So uh, this time around, I didn't, I, we advertised it through emails out there and word of mouth, but I didn't do any RSVPs. We had like nine people show up on the first day. That was kind of depressing, and then it, it really slowed down after that. So I think what Todd learned this time was that uh, RSVPs are probably better than not. But I wanted to show you the class, and so here it is, right? So uh, it's themed on Dr. Seuss, and basically, uh, I thought that we would look at things outside of Canvas land, or usually outside Canvas land. And we looked at Padlet, Flipgrid, Biologs, uh, Google Docs, which most people knew. But I did something tricky here with it, and then a voice thread. And I had some a link at the very bottom with some kind of cool examples and some things that people uh, have done with these various tools. So, But I'm going to show you each one of these five real quick, and then I'm going to go. So uh, here is the Padlet. And... Uh, you can see here that it's just embedded, right? And Padlet's nice because if you just click the big, uh, the big button right here, you can uh, add your own. Um, every page has the happy little balloons at the top, some ridiculous poem that I wrote, uh, and then the posts, and then at the very bottom of the page, uh, I added like a navigation. Since there was just five, only five places to go, I just put them at the bottom so you could go to the next or uh, like with Canvas, with usual, you can click the next button. So there's Padlet, and I invited a couple people uh, um, to participate a couple months ago as I was building this and getting a little bit of feedback. So here's the Flipgrid. Again, each one of these five is just embedded in, in this space. All the pages are the same. But it was fun to kind of theme all the tools with... Um, you know, the same kind of uh, pastel images from this, uh, from the book. So anyway, as you can see, here's some people talking. This one uh, got some great, good conversation going in this one. Um, but again, we started off good and then it just kind of fell apart. Uh, anyway, so we used Biologues. Um, same thing, I had the whole book uh, read or a, a video of the book being read and had some of the discussions here. Uh, the Google Docs, so this is what was kind of fun, is um, I embedded this so that it would display by default the comments on the right side, um, not just the whole document. So um, so that was pretty, I thought that was smart, um, kind of cool. Anyway, that's the whole text to the book. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to move my video here, was VoiceThread. And uh, just your usual voice thread, but again, we kind of um, had the, you know, text, um, moving Sometimes. through it. Uh -oh. Sorry. Some people participated, yeah. some people not. Yeah, so anyway, that was it. It was a great little class. Uh, if you ever want to, I'm going to upload it into uh, the Canvas Commons here uh, shortly. And... Um, I'll have to like just strip out each of my individual ones because they're all um, they're all open, so anybody can participate. But um, and I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet, but because uh, I'd like to leave them in there actually somehow. Um, anyway, oh the places to go, uh, and the value of RSVPs. 
that's what I know about this.